Hello everyone, welcome to day four of our 30 days of prayer where we are learning to pray more effectively. Each day we're putting a little prompt like this one on social media and on our website uh, because many people have never had anybody pray with them or even talk them through, well, well, how do I do this? How do I give God thanks? How do I worship Him? How do I confess things? We've spent the last couple of days doing those three. Today we're going to talk about how do you ask God for things the right way? And it's important for us to remind ourselves that God wants us to come to Him in prayer. Many times we try to be self-sufficient. We try to make it through life on our own. And we carry unnecessary burdens and we wear ourselves out. Other times we spend all our time worrying about things that are yet to come. And we drain ourselves of so much joy. And so to avoid worry, we need to pray. I mean, if we're going to worry, then we shouldn't pray. But if we're going to pray, well, then we shouldn't worry. In fact, the Apostle Paul wrote in Philippians 4, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need. Thank Him for all He's done. And then you'll experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. God wants us to pray for our needs. Peter said, give all your worries and cares to God. He cares about you. So today, we're going to lift up a few areas of concern. We're going to lift up concerns regarding our health, concerns regarding our finances, concerns regarding our work, concerns regarding our family, and concerns regarding our future and our past. I mean, we can just go through, if we just went through those few areas, my goodness, and just surrender those to God and say, God, will you give me direction? Or pray about something specific if it's in those areas. So, Let's spend a little time praying right now, asking God for help. This is called making petition of Him. I'm petitioning God and saying, God, I need your help with these things. Heavenly Father, we come before you now and we praise your name because you are almighty. and There's no problem you cannot handle and you're all-knowing. There's no problem you cannot solve and you are love itself. And so we know that you will hear us because we pray in the name of Jesus who died for us. We come before you now and we ask your help. Lord, for a health concern. Right now, if there's a health concern that you have or a loved one has, would you pray right now for God's healing touch to be upon that person? Pray for them by name or pray for the issue itself right now. Oh God, you are the great healer and we need healing. Give direction, grant help and healing. And Father, we also bring before you any financial concerns. Lord, you know what we need. And when Jesus said that we are to ask you to give us our daily bread. But sometimes, Lord, we have managed our money poorly and we've gotten ourselves in a terrible situation. And if that's the case, then we ask for your mercy and your grace your kindness even when we don't deserve it. Please show us what to do. Other times, Lord, we just we need you to provide because we don't know where the money will come from, even if we've done our very best. And so, God, we ask you to be our provider and our guide. Show us what to do. Bring any problem you have with finances to them right now. Father, we pray about our careers. Father, our careers are important, our jobs. Some now, Father, watching this video may need to have a job. And so, first of all, we pray for them. And Lord, we ask that you would grant us employment so we can provide for our needs and be fulfilled in our work. And for those of us, Lord, who do have jobs, we pray, Lord, you'd help us do our jobs well. That, they would be, that we would live lives that are pleasing to you. And we'd work for you, Lord, not just when other people are watching. God, help us get our priorities straight, manage our time well, and get our work done. Show us what changes we need to make so we can be our very best. Now, Lord, we pray for our families. 
Father, some of us have a big need in our family. There's a broken relationship, and we need your help to repair it. Some of us, Lord, we're making a trip to see someone, and we need your safe guidance there and back. Or somebody's been gone a long time, and they're finally coming home. Oh, God, bring them safely here. Some of us, Lord, we need to make an apology or we need to forgive someone so we can restore relationship. Please show us how to do that. And finally, Father, we come before you and we surrender our future. Lord, we don't have to worry about anything. And scripture tells us that, that you give us peace. And so we surrender tomorrow. We surrender the rest of 2020. We surrender our future to you, our future family, our future finances, our future career. We surrender all of it to you and say, God, you'll show us what to do tomorrow with the problems we need to deal with tomorrow. Just help us make the most of today. So, Lord, I'm grateful that we can be here today with you. I'm grateful we can bring all our problems, and you're always ready to listen and always ready to help. Please help us trust you and your timing as you provide the answers for the things we prayed about today. We expect you to answer because we pray these things in the name of Jesus. Amen.